Welcome back to Oak Haven. Uh, today I am raking up some, some of the leaves and things in the yard here, and what we have right here are just an abundance of acorns. I don't know if you can get in there and, and show some of these acorns. I have, just in this stretch that's about 15 feet long, three piles of these acorns from these two pretty good sized red oak trees that are here. So this is an unusual situation for us to have this many acorns um, dropping. That's because um, this is a mast year for acorns, or for oak trees. At least it is in our area. I've, it looks like from on the internet that it's a mast year from other areas in the Midwest too. I don't know how far that extends. Um, so what is a mast year? A mast year is a year that an, a, uh, <clears throat> a nut producing tree produces just an overabundance of nuts. Um, and the reason they would do that, if you can say that trees have reason and have, are doing it for a reason, um, is that when they produce so many nuts, it, it satiates the predators. It, uh, it's called predator satiation. The, it produces more nuts than can be eaten by all of the squirrels and deer and other things that are in the area. If it just produced, if it produced, you know, one fifth as many acorns every year, uh, there's a chance that a lot of those acorns would be eaten up. But by concentrating all of their efforts into one huge mass year of production, it produces more acorns than can be eaten up, and it's more likely that uh, some of those acorns will will uh, sprout and live to uh, to maturity. Now, next, that means that next year there may be a lot of those predators, the squirrels or whatever it is that eat the acorns, um, because they will be well fed. So their population will probably boom. And unfortunately, the oak trees aren't going to be producing a lot of acorns next year. Uh, and that means that there's going to be a bust in those and the populations will decline and there will be some starvation and things like that. Um, but that drops the, the population of those predators down so that in a few years, when there's another mast uh, year, the, uh, the population of those, those things that are going to eat these um, will have dropped down. So, pretty clever, um, <laughs> if we can say clever, um, way of getting around the fact that if they just drop them evenly, uh, we may not have, uh, there may be too many predators uh, and they would eat too many um, of the seeds. Maybe come over here, Julie, and we can walk around a little bit. And they're not, they're not the best for in the yard because it's a little like walking around on marbles, so we're we're trying to get them all cleared up. What will I do with them? The, my plan is that I will take all of these acorns here, and they will end up going off into the area next to us. That this used to be lawn, and we've decided that we don't need that much lawn, so we're letting it it uh, revert to a more natural habitat. I went through and I killed off the the grass, and now we're letting things grow in there. So some more acorns in there, some more oak trees would be good. Um, another thing that we're going to do with them is we're going to um, take uh, some buckets. We probably have three or four or five gallon buckets worth of acorns here. And we'll take some to uh, our church where we're working on this reforestation project or this um, um, project where we're putting in native plants. And we'll probably spread them around just randomly in some of the areas where we've been clearing honeysuckle and uh, calorie pear and autumn olive and some other things so that maybe we get some, some regeneration of oak, oaks. And then we'll probably be more it's intentional. We'll take some of these that look the most viable and, uh, and plant them up in pots so that we can uh, nurture them a little bit and get some nice little seedlings that we could again plant in the reforestation project. Um, and hopefully get uh, get some beautiful oak trees uh, growing out there. And it's interesting to think about how do these trees communicate that all of the trees in the area have a mast year and produce so many acorns. Are they communicating or are there just environmental factors, the right light, the right temperatures, right other things that all come together and say, bow, pow, now's the time to, to produce acorns. No one really has an answer to that. They're obviously not talking to each other, but there's some indication that maybe there's some chemical communication between, between trees. Who knows? More research needs to be done. Anyway, there's where we are for today. Thanks for coming along.